hey guys welcome to my new video as per your request i made a tutorial that how to make this animation so let's move into the video okay so first we will import all of our files uh, i will uh, give a link in the description for all of that so first we will select our man scale scale it up and go in effect and control tab select for fill and apply fill and <clears throat> make it to blue like this and we will scale it up like this bring it down and we will animate it so basically we want to end our animation like here so we will press p on keyboard and uh, make preframe go at starting drag it down <clears throat> like this, drag it. And we will select keyframes and press F9 for easy ease. Open graph editor, drag it to left. Uh, now it's look like this. Um, I think it's slow, so we will move forward a keyframe. And now it's look like this. And when our man is animated, then we will add a text and type student. And align it like this. Open this align tool, align the text, and change its font to Akira like this. We have to align it again. We will align again like this. And we will uh, reduce its scale like this. And change its color to this character color. So we will open this character pen tab and select this eyedropper tool and we will select this color like this okay so i think it should be big like this so now we will animate our text uh, click on this animate icon then select position add select uh, opacity position will be 36 opacity will be zero open this range selector uh, at the starting offset will be minus 100 make a keyframe go at starting go few frames forward make it to positive 100 and uh, go to advance and uh, make this shape to ramp up like this so it will wait, let me bring this over so it will look like this and now like this and now we will <coughs> add a line animation for that we will select this pen tool and click over here and make our composition small like this and add a line over here like this open this shape properties go to contents shapes stroke and then change its uh, butt cap to round cap now we have to animate the line so we have to go uh, click on this add icon add trim parts and now open this trim part properties add uh, make this end to uh, zero and make a keyframe go few frames forward uh, make it to 100 and you can see this line is animating like this so when lines starts animating so we have to add a camera movement to animate this scene we will add a camera like this and before animating everything we will create a background click on this solid click ok and drag it down and go in effect tab you can see this generate and click on this grid Change corner point to uh, width and slide height sliders and make it to 145 and height will be 137. Opacity will be 20 like this. And now we will uh, make all of these here 3D for a camera movement. So we will click on the camera, open the camera properties, go to transform, make a keyframe at the starting like this and go uh, where when line starts moving down like this so 
Now we have to open this two views to animate the camera like this and we have to like move downward for that we will move our camera upward like this like this little bit more upward wait let me zoom in like this perfect now we will add our shopify logo like this small it down and place it over here i think it should be more small and place it like that like that and make this shopify logo 3d for that and bring it to now we want that shop uh, the shopify logo will comes uh, from downward to upward so for that we will add and uh, we will make a keyframe on position over here and go a few frames forward and drag it down like this and select these two keyframes select uh, make it f9 for easy ease and open graph editor and drag it to left like this like this now we will add our text like this we will change its font and its color also like this and we will align it to the center bring it down and scale it down like this and we will animate this tag so we will go in this uh, student properties and we have animate this tag so we will select its animator one copy it and paste it into this dropship text so you can see this text animating and we have to make this uh, 3d again and now bring the bring this text over here like this and we will select pen tool again and we will uh, make a point over here and end it over here wait and end it over here here wait what is happening like this we will select a pen tool and make a point over here and end over here and we will uh, open its properties go to the content shapes strokes and change the butt cap to round cap like this and again we have to animate this we we'll click on this add select the stream paths open the stream path properties at the starting end will be zero make a keyframe and go a few frames forward make this end 200 like this you can see and then we have to open a camera first we will close all of its keyframes now select this camera and then we have to make a keyframe over here go a few frames forward like this and we have to drag our camera on right wait first we have to make our this layer 3d like this now we will move our camera to right like this so it's look like 
this. I think it should be more on right like this. Now we will select these two icons over here, scale it down like this and select this also, scale it down. Now we have to animate these also. For that, and we will select this. And I want a like pop out animation. For that, we will open its scale and make a keyframe. Go a few frames forward. Wait. Let me set this like this. Go a few frames forward. Make a keyframe over here and go a few frames backward scale it down to zero select this keyframe press f9 for easy ease open graph editor and drag it to left like this same goes with uh, this logo we will go a few frames forward and make a scale keyframe one scale then go a few frames for backward and make it to zero now select these now select this keyframe select these two press f9 open this graph editor drag it on left like this and you can see this so our animation look like this like this and like this and to make this more good we will add the, this deep glow drop it to this layer and make its exposure to 0 0.48 now we, are, we will also add this deep glow we will copy this and also place it to like second layer and we also have to place this on this text so now it's look like this let, let it know so it looks something like this wait my pc is lagging so i'll show you like this this Hope you learned something new from this video if you guys want more tutorial like this so make sure to subscribe my channel and comment down below that on which topic do you want next video